Alrighty, and hello and welcome to the channel. And for today's video, Hunting Sim 2 and the start of the legendary grind. People kept asking for it. I have my reasons why I didn't want to do it, and I'll get to those later. So first things first, this is a voiceover. I forgot to hit a button. Does that really surprise anyone these days? I do have mic audio for this part coming up, but most of it, it's gonna have to be voiceover. But I decided to start with bison because I know the bison locations the best. They're the easiest to spot, uh, but not necessarily the easiest to take down. I'm actually tracking this guy here for no particular reason other than the fact that I thought I'd get a good shot at him. But judging by the fact he's ran halfway across Texas, I didn't get as good a shot as I thought. I like to call that hope and prayer shooting, where I hope and pray that a round finds its way into a lung or something to finally bring the animal down. Confident though I may have finally done it, I decide to scoot across the valley. As I get across the valley, I find the blood trail again, and something catches the corner of my eye. No, something draws my attention out of the corner of my eye. I spot something. Let's just leave it at that. So at this point is when I decide to panic a little bit, disable my replay recording, and put on regular recording, which for some reason makes me stare at the sky. Now there should be microphone for just a little bit. Alrighty, so I've been doing some hunting. I'm actually tracking a bison that I shot. His blood trail's around here somewhere. There, right here. And I happen to look off that way. That there, guys, is a legendary bison. Not just a legendary, look at that thing's head. All right, so we can't screw this up. Luckily, uh, you know, getting vitals in this game is nowhere near as difficult as, say, hunting, uh, like, diamonds and Call of the Wild. Basically, as long as I can get a lung, and I can, uh, get it in two shots or less. I think two shots is the limit, pretty sure. This is horrible timing, because I... I was just about to stop for the day. I have things I have to go do, and now I need to hunt this. Where'd he go? There he is. I don't have my dog with me. That actually will probably play to my benefit, and I'm thinking about I'm just going to take him with the rifle. I have the crossbow, but I just, I don't, uh, I don't think it would be wise, and unfortunately that means I'm going to have this, I'm going to take a hit here. Because I think, is this guy dead? Oh. Wow, that's, uh, that other bison, he's bleeding this much, but he's not dead. I've been following him for a minute. At this point in time, I'd say s since Legendaries came out, I have killed maybe 10 or 12 bison. All right, so unfortunately, this is like a sheer drop here. Um, I kind of actually made a mistake by staying up here. I have the Carbon Wolf uh, 9.3 on me with a 6x. And I'm really kind of crossing my fingers that's going to be enough to get the job done. Man, and when I shot the bison that was over here, I was sitting right around there, just on this side of that tent. Actually, maybe I was sitting right up there. I have no idea. I tried to grab the last five minutes of footage from the last bison, but yeah, had I, had I just looked a little to the left. 340 yards. I want him sub 200. I might be able to get that from up here. Man, if I had just looked at it, and of course I can only, you only have one license. I have to give up the other bison, take the penalty. Just don't know if there's gonna be a way for me to get down there. If I were smart, what I would do, look at that. I was gonna say if I were smart, what I would do is fast travel over there and come across, but you know what? I may try the age old prone and drop trick to see if I can't get to the bottom of this without being noticed. Please don't let falling to my doom alert him. You know what? This might just be about perfect. Pause. Nine three, right behind the shoulder. It's gonna run though. They the, the bison. They don't drop in this game, like unless you get a headshot. The chances I can get back up this thing? Not likely. All right, I'm on the other side of the canyon now. I've heard coyote and elk. I think I missed the trail. I think I ended up crossing too far left. Sounds like uh, that's my big guy. Right there. Do I do a headshot or do I try and go for a lung? I 
thing I do for a long Well, he either turned tail and ran, or he died right behind that bush. <gasps> he died right behind the bush. Oh, he had a, I had a good, I must have had a good shot. Like, that was a decent trail. There it is. A white-faced, legendary bison. Big old bugger. Of course, he's a mature. Okay, so it looks like, uh, maybe my, yeah, so it looks like my first shot was, it's not liver. I'm guessing this is stomach, heart. Lung, liver, kidney? I don't know. I don't know bison anatomy well enough to take that guess. Let's bag that. Time to get to the cabin and uh, go swap out what I already have. So he has a score of 1,184. Finally enough, he what? 228 pounds lighter than the mature male I have in here already. But then that one, it looks like I didn't get a vital if they're not counting that as vital. If I were to sell him, he would be worth over 10,000 credits. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. But the only thing I have a problem with is that, you know, they've added this whole ability to do the hide and comparison and to sell one and keep one, but I, I can't sell the other one. It's not like I can switch him back, I don't think. But anyways, time to keep this guy. And there he is. Can I get over it? No. Can't remember how to get around my own lodge. Yep, now I can look at his info. There's my legendary bison and I my legendary whitetail. Two down, what does that make? 33 to go? Well, not technically, because waterfowl and small game, there aren't legendaries, but are, does that mean fox? Are, are they counting fox as small game? I don't think so. There you go, bison. I only had to kill about a dozen of them to find them. The whitetail I actually found, I think, on the first hunt out for whitetail after the update, so the only kills built up for that were the ones I used to get all the guns. Sadly, though, I think that would be, like, the easiest, because these guys are so easy to spot on Bandera. The rest of them after that are going to be a challenge. All right, let's see what else I can find. Of course, I didn't stop there. I decided, you know what? It's time for elk. So I decided to go to Pawnee Meadows and uh, just see how many species I could grind out here with rapid harvesting of random species. So again, starting with elk. Now, I'm not going to do a play-by-play -play for every single uh, elk hunt I did, because I believe I ended up killing about a dozen, maybe two dozen elk. I was basically going out, filling all the tags as quickly as possible, horrible shooting, good shooting, it didn't matter, and then going back to the lodge, getting new tags, and, well, rinse and repeat. I will say at this point, and it gets kind of worse as time goes on, but uh, through the heavy grind of animals, I start to take more of the M1 whitetail call the wild approach, where it's shoot first, worry about integrity later, and just try and get bodies down to hopefully force a spawn. In the interest of improving my harvest rate, I decided to switch out my uh, Carbon Wolf 85 at 9.3 and my crossbow for something a bit more apt to rapid fire. So I started running my Rec 10, Rec 7 combo. That's 308 and 223, both with 6x scopes. Another change I made is instead of playing with keyboard and mouse, I'm actually playing with a steam pad controller. It's controller, but instead of a right stick for aim, it actually uses a uh, kind of trackpad looking thing. Works pretty well for the passive grind, but the problem was its resolution of detecting my thumb was not high enough, so it was getting kind of hard to aim sometimes.
I'm not worried about getting too many fines because if the animal pays out 700, they find me 250, it's still a profit and I'm not getting these for trophies. I'm getting these to get them off the map. So of course what would happen is I get set in my routine and I might forget a step, like getting a new license. But after remembering to get a license and returning to the hunt, I started my normal path and I heard a familiar sound. So I decided to climb into some bushes, let out some calls, and see if I can get whatever's making all this noise over to me. Again, I decided to do a nice quick follow-up. What's the point of bringing the Rec 10 if you're not going to use the semi-automatic feature of it? And there you have it. Legendary Elk. Time to claim it and head back to the cabin. Again, I'm kind of surprised because this Legendary Elk is not only lighter in weight than the one I already had, but it's actually got a lower score. Um, it is older, and it sells for more money, but a lot of the times I find that in Hunting Sim 2, the stats just don't make sense to me. Why they can be the same size lighter weight but have a higher score and vice versa and i've also found that with some of the species having a very young age uh can have an even increase the score for some reason even though wouldn't it make more sense for it to be the other way around but i could be wrong but there is the legendary elk hanging on the wall another one down Let's see what i can get next So next I decided to try and do a twofer. I'm going to take the Rec 10 out and go after both the wild boar and the bighorn sheep and just grind them both at the same time and see what happens. I do make a mistake in this grind and I will get to that later. Like I said, not uh, taking any particular caution with the shots. It's sling lead, drop animals, get them off the map, hope for good spawns. After that harvest, I was uh, starting to notice that I was having issues and I kept getting lost on Pawnee Meadows for some reason. And it, it was weird, because in Call of the Wild, even if I don't look at the map, I still can have a general sense of direction. But something about Pawnee Meadows kept throwing me off, and I couldn't quite put my finger on it until, well, I did. So here I'm making sure that it is in fact set to morning. And then I decide to turn the compass on. Yes, you're reading that right. The sun rises in the west in Pawnee Meadows, which is supposed to be Colorado which then none of that makes sense. This hunt did offer up some strange opportunities to have interactions with things I, I didn't realize. People had left comments about how dumb the turkeys were, but this might be a little on the ridiculous side. I mean, wrong caliber used, but it's still a sandwich meat. Plus I already have a legendary turkey, so what does it matter if I screw one up? Now the upcoming should have kind of been a hint to the big mistake I was making through this, and uh, it wasn't. But on the plus side is I've been basically in Pawnee Meadows, what I've been doing is I've been going to each of the four corners to whatever stand is closest to that corner, hopping up and scanning the entire area with both my low powered and high powered uh, binoculars that I have with me. I think I have a, a six by and a 12 by. And that's when I spot something that I wasn't even grinding for, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. 
Some uh, quick figuring of the mass on the map tells me that it's actually right next to the uh, starter outpost, so should be pretty simple to get in nice and close and make some calls. I disconnect the controller for these shots and I move back to keyboard and mouse again just because the trackpad on the controller is low resolution, so the aim kind of jitters around. Especially with a small animal, I'd be at risk of screwing that up worse than I have been screwing my shots up. I know it's nearby, I can spot it. I can't actually see it, but I'm picking up the spot through the brush or grass, whatever you want to call it, green stuff. A coyote does come in pretty close to the call, oblivious to my existence for whatever particular reason, but uh, hey, as tempting as it is, obviously the legendary fox is more tempting. Hunting Sim 2 has no issues with headshots, so 223 to the head drops it in its place. And there it is. Mature, legendary red fox. You know the drill. Time to take it back. Swap it out. Here you can see me comparing the sheep that I've picked up in the process. This 309 pounder scoring the same as a 217 pounder, even though they're the same size and roughly the same age. And then I got a 129 pounder and a 91 pounder that are both younger than the one I have, and... Yet they score more, so I'm very confused. At least the Red Fox makes sense since it's a little bit heavier and a quote-unquote legendary. And now that's back in the lodge, all pretty and whatnot, which I think I even asked at the beginning if there were legendary foxes. I guess I answered my own question. And then at this point, well, now it's time to just get back down to the grind and continue on a mistake I was making. Which I'm gonna get to. And again, it's just a, uh, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of slinging lead and dropping animals. There, there was a lot of death as a result of this legendary grind. Now this is where I figure out my mistake. I had to quit and go do something else in real life. It happens. I'm uh, supposedly one of those adult things. I got to do adulty things once in a blue moon. So I had to shut down, go take care of that, come back. I start the game. I get into the map, <laughs> and wouldn't you believe it, what's already right there plain as day. This is when I think I figured out what my issue was. At this point, I have probably murdered and mutilated somewhere in the combination of a hundred animals between the sheep and the pig. I'm not going to bore you with every single one because it's the same thing over and over again. Find them, shoot them, find them, shoot them. Very easy on this map. But the red fox was after a fresh load-in. The elk, after a fresh load-in. The bison, after a fresh load-in. Obviously the animals don't spawn while you're here, right? So going back to the lodge and jumping back into the map wasn't doing anything. But the second I came from out of game, there's the boar. So that gives me an idea of what to do after I get this boar. That is, assuming, of course, I can keep track of it and actually get it. Now, this thing pretty much runs all over this corner of the map. It actually kept fleeing from something, even though at the time it was several hundred yards from me, so I'm not sure what it was fleeing from. But finally, I got in this valley. I'm prone on one side. It's coming down the other. Getting calls. And again, it's hunting sim too, so... Headshots are acceptable. Uh, 
assuming I could have hit the freaking thing in the head. It's pretty. I'll give it that. Mature, legendary wall boar. Rinse, repeat. Back to the cabin. And again, now I have to think it's just the fur type because the legendary is both younger and lighter at the same size and yet scores double. So it must purely be based off fur type. I'm guessing. That That's all this is, I guess. And there it is, another legendary hanging in the lodge. So now at this point, I'm back on the grind. I want to still get sheep. I'll call it a day after bighorn sheep. And what I've decided to do is I'm going to fill my current set of tags. And when I go to back to the cabin or the lodge to refill the tags, I'm also going to restart the game. Very first outing, fresh tags, just launched the game. And would you look at that? Now he's very close to a tent, so I was able to fast travel to cut out a lot of ground. Move right in. Of course, it doesn't help that I get startled just a little bit. I don't understand why the turkeys wait so long to take off. Call the wild, they're gone before you ever get to see them. I am a bit concerned with how long it's taking to drop, but luckily it does drop because I already put the two shots in I'm allowed. And there you have it. That is a legendary bighorn sheep. Same old, same old, back to the cabin. And here we go again. This legendary sheep is slightly older than the one I have, but almost half the weight. And I'm guessing again, the fur type must come into play because it is scoring pretty much double what my current sheep has. But at least now, I have another legendary hanging on the wall. Now for those keeping track, that means I have a legendary bighorn sheep, legendary wild boar, legendary bison, I have a legendary whitetail, a legendary elk, legendary fox, and a legendary turkey. And I think that's all of them. Does that mean there's more legendary grinds in the future? Maybe. That's a big maybe. Honestly, the whitetail, I picked it up pretty much for my first time out hunting whitetail after the legendary update. It was no effort at all. It stepped through a bush, I shot it in the head, bingo bango. The turkey, same deal. I think that one actually made into a video. I was actually out hunting pronghorn, I believe, when I stumbled across that one. But once I kind of figured out to restart, every time I started the game, the legendaries popped in very quickly. Matter of fact, the only time I had to spend any real grind time was when I was staying in the game and repeating the process. And with something like the Rec 10, it's some steady aim. As long as you're careful on the ones you want to keep, if you don't care about taking a fine, since a lot of the animals you're going to be shooting will get you more money than what it cost for the fine, where's the challenge? You just mow through them like it's Call of Duty and move on with your life. Now granted, I could see where the European map and the Colorado, uh, like the Roosevelt Forest map, are going to prove a bit of a challenge with some of the species. But I just, I don't get it. The hunt really isn't any more challenging. They are not any harder to hunt. They're just a rarer spawn. I still feel that Call of the Wild, even with the uh, wonderful platitude of bugs it offers you today, still offers a more adventurous hunt and probably kept even more random by the fact that every time they release a hotfix, you have no idea what they broke. So it's always a mystery, always a surprise. So this only took about two days to record, chewed through them pretty quick. Took me years to get my first diamond, but uh, yeah, I got several legendaries in the span of about two days and that was just in amongst other things. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video because there's buttons if you did, buttons if you didn't, and as always, Buttons to push, until next time.